Hey there, how's it going? Today I'm hopefully going to help you set up your finger drum pad with XLN Audio XO. This should work for most 16 drum pads. I don't see why it wouldn't. Here I'm using a Machine Micro MK3 in MIDI mode. And I just want to show you really quickly here in Ableton, as you can see, I have two instances of XO. If you've used XO before, which you probably have if you're watching this, you know that it only populates eight slots. So it'll only fill up half your drum pad. But you can basically just do a little routing trick to get all 16 pads active and have 16 different drum sounds with two instances of XO. And I'll show you how I did that. So first off, I'm gonna show you just the drum sounds I have here. Kick, kick, snare, ghost snare, rim, hi-hat, hi-hat, open hi-hat. And that is all on this instance of XO you can see in front of you. Then if I flip to the second channel and I open up this second instance of XO, I'm now gonna have a uh, drum roll, tom, 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 cymbal, cymbal, ride, and ride. Okay, so how did I do this? Very simply, you're going to use a couple Ableton tools or tools built into your DAW. You're going to need some sort of MIDI transpose tool. The velocity tool is optional. You don't have to use it, but it does help you kind of work with your particular drum pad and help you change velocities so that your drum hits are more consistent. And of course, XO. Okay, the first thing to do is insert Exelon Audio XO on two separate MIDI channels. And what you're going to do is you're going to arm both of them. In Ableton, you can right click here on this arm and you can turn off arm exclusive and it'll allow you to arm multiple tracks at once. So that's what I did. Now both of these tracks are active, they're both receiving MIDI information. The next thing you have to do is find out on your drum pad where your standard MIDI signal is coming from. And by that I mean where in the piano roll are your notes mapped to. And what you're going to do to figure that out is use a scale or MIDI transpose function. Basically what you're going to do is use the transposer to find what MIDI notes your drum pad is triggering. In this case I had to, for the bottom eight pads here, I had to bump up 24 semitones to get these eight pads active. And then for the upper eight pads, I had to transpose up 16 semitones to get those active so that they align with what XO is expecting for MIDI input. As I showed you before on this top one here, bottom eight pads, and if I go into XO, you're gonna see all of these trigger. If I work my way from left to right and then go up, you'll see that they go from bottom to top in XO. And then the same for this bottom instance of XO. Honestly, it's pretty much as simple as that. Once you have figured out your mapping for both of them, you can swap samples in XO or in your particular drum sampler. But I just found that this worked with XO. So if your drum pads have a transpose function where you can bump up and down what MIDI notes your pads correspond to, and you could add in maybe three or four instances of XO and add even more notes and then just flip between pages. I don't know the machine micro well enough to do that yet, but it's fairly straightforward. And then you can jam out with all of your pads on two instances of XO at the same time. One thing I'd recommend is once you have your two instances of XO set up, is that you label which pads they correspond to. As you can see here, I have Machine Micro MK3 Neo Soul 1 through 8. And that's just to let me know that these pads are going to correspond with the bottom eight, and then these top pads are going to respond with the 9 through 16. So that when you go into your browser, you'll now have your two instances here, and you can know which set of pads they're going to correspond to. Overall, it's pretty simple, and I found this to be quite effective. It works really well. And I'm going to be using XO to load in drum samples on the machine micro from now on because this is just a really easy way to do it. If you like the sounds that you heard on these drum pads, I'd highly recommend checking out Drum Drops. Uh, this is the Neo Soul Pack, but Drum Drops has a bunch of great libraries with awesome one shots. I'm not sponsored by them. They're not paying me or anything like that. I just recommend them because they have very organic, natural drum sounds, and you can mix and match them with your own samples. Honestly, it's a pretty straightforward process. I figured it out in about 15 minutes, but maybe it'll help you if you're struggling to figure it out with your setup. I'd recommend saving it as a template and loading your drum samples in. You might have to go through a little bit of work when you're using this setup with other projects, existing projects, where you'd have to load in your scale. But if you have your excellent audio kits saved, it's not a long process. It'll only take a couple minutes to set it up in other projects. I really hope you got something out of this. If you think I left anything out or if you're having trouble figuring anything out, just let me know and I'll make another video clarifying or going into more detail. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day.